So Katie Hind with the Daily Mail created not one, but two false Johnny Depp scenarios, only to cry victim instead of fixing those false scenarios because, hey, that's how the modern media work. What's hilarious about this situation is that unlike people that can't defend themselves, she promptly got wrecked for it. And I mean absolutely wrecked. Adam Waldman wrecked her for it. The people supposedly involved in that, they wrecked her for it. And more importantly, the people she's trying to sell that too. The purveyors of truth, they wrecked her for it as well. So hey there, and let me say this with all sincerity while shooting fire out of my fingertips for some reason. Don't know why I put that there, but thank you for subscribing to the channel and helping us hit our new milestone, 100,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. Now, as far as Johnny Depp and A.H. are concerned, it's bad when individual false narratives come in and try to wreck you. But then when the media comes in, they create their own false narratives. I mean, that, that's a call to action because something has got to change. Now, this first article is one that I initially missed, but this is a fascinating article because it doesn't prove anything. It has a quote-unquote source that says that this transpires. It adds in plenty of pictures about other things, but there's absolutely nothing that proves that this happened. So, A.H. is stellar cast of angels. Kylie Minogue, you see a name thrown in there that this could do damage to. Kate Blanchett, another person that has a picture thrown in this, but it has nothing to do with what's being said, could damage them as well. And the rest of the actresses, girl gang, throw her a party after her torrid week in the Johnny Depp libel battle. So you see what it's stating here. Now this first part we're going to read just to give you the idea. We'll read a couple more sentences after and then I'll show you what the rest of the article, how it's detailed. After she prepares for more dramatic courtroom revelations about her acrimonious breakdown of her marriage, A.H. last night surrounded herself with a stellar cast of powerful, high-profile women. Kylie Minogue, Kate Blanchett were among guests at the party throne in its A.H.'s honor, offering their moral support amidst a bitter high court showdown with her former husband, Johnny Depp. The American actress is being supported by a group of women nicknamed, look at this, this is how far it carries it, Amber's Angels, which also include prominent feminists such as the author Kathy Lett. Kathy Lett is the one that we will see a denial from, who hosted last night's party at her North London home and lawyer Baroness Kennedy. A.H. last week came face to face with Mr. Depp at the High Court, where his libel battle against the Sun newspaper is being played out in graphic detail. So you see the pictures here. I mean, you have plenty, right? Not about what we're talking about here. Not about what we're talking about. Again, same thing and so on. There's nothing that proves that this transpired in any way, shape, or form. Here's a little bit on this too. We'll read this and then I'll just show you the rest of the article. Continuing, the scene could barely have been any different last night as the group dined in a low-key party. A.H. arrived dressed in a tight-fitting black dress with gray floral jacket. She was joined by TV presenter Sandy T., her wife Debbie, Baroness Helena Kennedy, and her lawyer Jennifer Robinson. The eclectic mix of women had separately gotten in touch with A.H. over recent months and, here's your key in there, according to a source, became her secret support network. These women wanted to support A.H. and they wanted to throw her a nice dinner to give her a boost, said the source. They are a group of like-minded women who have all been through uh, their own challenges and they have become her solid gang. Her solid gang indeed. She is her sister uh, Whitney and her lawyers, but these are her girls. Hmm. So these are supposedly your gifts guests arriving at the home as well. You have one picture of a person here standing on a sidewalk. That's going to be your proof. You know, that's all you get. The rest of the article, well, it provides as much as these pictures. You have a breakdown. You know, you have a synopsis of what's going on. More of a synopsis of what's going on. You have a picture of Kate Blanchett. Pictured and Kylie Minogue. She's not pictured here, but hey, you know, take our word for it. And then you have more synopsis of what's been going on in the courtroom, and that's it. There's nothing 
else involved in this. No pictures, no proof, nothing that really says that this took place. Now, what's awesome is you're going to get owned on Twitter, and it only takes four words to do so. Welcome to AH's Girl Gang. My story in tomorrow's Mail on Sunday reveals her impressive and eclectic group of angels threw her a party at Kathy Lett's house after a week battling Johnny Depp at the high court. So somebody asks about this. Hey, Kathy Lett, care you to explain why you're throwing a party for this abuser? Or did this journalist misrepresent the situation? I am hoping that is the case. Does Kate even know A.H. was going to be there? Or was she joining your party via Skype because you two are friends? So, she answers four words. The article is untrue. The article is untrue, indeed. Ah, but the fun, it doesn't end there. Oh, no. Here's a post by her on that situation, too, on the 13th of July. Just to be clear, the article published in the Mail on Sunday titled Amber's Angels, which claimed that Kylie Minogue and Kate Blanchett attended a dinner or Skyped in a dinner I held on Saturday the 11th of July, is categorically untrue. She tags in Kylie Minogue. She hashtags Kate Blanchett. Yeah, that's some fun time stuff indeed. You can see exchanges in the comments too as she playfully mocks this idea. And this, this is probably my favorite of any of them. Never mind that. What was on the menu? Ha ha, the only thing I don't eat are my words. Now taken on its own, that first article could have indeed been just misinformation. I would have been highly skeptical, but still. But taken in association with this second article, it is an out and out campaign. It's meant to promote 1AH and also damage Johnny Depp. I mean, look at this headline here, for example. Will Johnny Depp ever stop? Ever stop? So you see the way that first sentence comes together, making him out to be a villain. Four years of attacking someone, slandering and vilifying them. But yeah, will Johnny Depp ever stop? Hollywood star launches new multi-million dollar court case against A.H. one month after bombshell quiet court trial. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, maybe, just maybe, they didn't know about the Virginia case, you know, established in 2018. They've actually covered it in their paper. No. They actually get that wrong, because look at this here. A.H. is bracing herself for a second bruise in court battle with ex-husband Johnny Depp, even if the Pirates, the Caribbean star, loses high-profile libel case against the Sun newspaper. As the actress yesterday flew home from a holiday in Turkey ahead of a verdict expected as early as this week, wrong about that one too, by the way, we are still waiting on it, in her dramatic high court uh, fight between Depp and the Sun. Her legal team are preparing for a potential fresh clash in the American courts. The Mail on Sunday understands that A.H.'s lawyers expect Depp, 57. They had to actually correct this, too, because they got his age wrong, just to say fact-checkers indeed, to serve papers in America that could result in her once more giving evidence in court about their marriage and contested allegations that she suffered well, you know the rest of that narrative. So the first key that you had here was to serve papers in America, and well, they're going to spell it out clearly, even though again, there was some confusion about what they were saying. So they have Mr. Depp denies the claims, the claims above this stuff here, not the claims that they're going to actually have a litigation, a third one. And says his ex-wife, well, she did all of those things to him. And then here's the important stuff. Depp, who gave days of vivid evidence at London's High Court in July, has already taken action against the 34-year-old actress in the U.S. state of Virginia over a column that she wrote for a Washington Post newspaper in December 2018. So they're telling you again, we have the sun, we have this one, and there's going to be a third one. And that's it. They don't add anything to that allegation besides that. You can see them talk about what's upcoming in that lawsuit about the Washington Post. Post newspaper. Another picture of A.H. this time. You have a video. They embed this in. And then a source close to the actress said A.H.'s team are super nervous about him suing again, this time in the States. It seems that he will stop at nothing 
to ruin her. So you see how that's coming together. And then this. No matter what the outcome of Depp's case against the Sun, A.H. is preparing for round two. But if Johnny wins his case against the Sun, then that's it. He will go on and on. This could go on for years to come. Now, Adam Waldman absolutely serves that up, too. But what's interesting is Adam Waldman takes it as she's talking about a second case as well. When, again, you can tell she was talking about a third. Your news story, at Katie Hine, illustrates Hunter S. Thompson's observation, journalism is not a profession or a trade. The new lawsuit against defamation trumpeted in your headline was filed 18 months ago. Who tells you to write this stuff? Who tells you that? Indeed. Here's the associated screenshots, too. You can see this first one. Dear Robin, I hope you're well. I'm writing a story in tomorrow's mail on Sunday about how A.H. is expecting to face a second libel trial in America over the allegations that he oomped her. I wanted to give you the opportunity to comment on that. Now, Adam Waldman responds again, thinking that they're talking about Virginia. Dear Miss Hind, I, you are running a story tomorrow, and you are coming late tonight giving, quote-unquote, the opportunity to comment on what exactly. Sincerely, Adam Waldman. P.S. Aren't you the reporter who wrote the girl gang story during the trial that claimed Kylie Lachette and Kylie Minogue threw a party for A.H.? After which, the hostess of the uh, dinner publicly asserted your story was untrue and mocked it, too. Mocked the heck out of it. Fun times. And you can see the headline here as well. What's insane, too, is that this, it spawns other false narratives as well. And you would think that a journalist might want to correct that, you know, because your name is associated with the crazy. If you think that, though, you don't understand the mainstream and are probably not qualified. Katie Nine does, though, you know, because rebuttal equals abuse, and you gotta have a victim narrative. I woke up to so much abuse from Johnny Depp fans this morning that I deactivated my account temporarily for the first time ever. I joined in 2009. It's so lovely that I might do it every weekend. Smile. Oh, 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 my funny. If truth makes you a victim because somebody calls you out, then what is somebody actually aiming at your life or livelihood trying to do damage? What does that make you? Because that's Johnny Depp. Four years of stuff like this from people like Katie Hind pretending that they're journalists while again feigning abuse every time they get any kind of blowback. It is monstrous to see. That's why I'm glad that people like Johnny Depp are fighting back. People like Adam Waldman are on his side. And of course there are people out there like you. So to close this out, I want to mention our comic book. Link is in the description. We could use your help getting the word out. We're still working on it. While we are, you can still pick it up. Check that out too. 40 pages, full color, all ages, love crafty and goodness. Plus, when you pick it up, you get all of your stretch goals. Three cards, postcard, sticker, poster, so much goodness involved. Let me also say thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. You empower these endeavors, and I sincerely mean that. You know, most people, they don't say that because they forget that. I want to remind myself every time I'm thanking you, but I'm also telling myself you make this possible. So thank you. Appreciate you. Hope you have a fantastic week.